Hey guys, it's me Jack here and welcome back to another video. Today I have something a bit different, it's not a review of the set, but instead it is a review of this magazine here, which is called Bricks Culture, and this is issue one. So far there are two issues of this magazine, uh, it's quarterly, which means you get four a year. Now, there's only two so far, uh, uh, and I'm guessing they're doing it a yearly from when they released, rather than yearly uh, from like, January, because, as I said, there's only two. Uh, this magazine is really nice, it has 150 pages or something like that, let me just double check. It has 138 pages, not 150. Uh, so there's a lot of good content in here, it's, it's a really posh magazine, it's, it's kind of like Vogue for Lego fans. Uh, basically in this video what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you uh, close-ups of some of the content in here, there's a lot of good stuff, building tips, interviews with people, history of Lego, uh, stop motions and stuff like that, showing off marks, uh, and a really, a ton of really good photography. Uh, they interview the guy that designed the Lego birds on the ideas, so that's good, and then there's this picture which I'm going to show you right now, of the Apple Watch. I think that's really cool. I'm definitely going to be building one of those. Uh, but yeah, so let's go into the close-up right now. Okay then guys, here is a close-up on the front. You can just see there's what I think is an old computer with keyboard and mouse. It just says hello, because this is the first issue. Uh, and yeah, the cover's really nice, and you can tell from the cover that it's quite a posh and luxurious magazine. Uh, so if we turn over, then you just have a t-shirt that's available and then just a welcome page as well and then if you turn over again you get I assume that's meant to be the man on the moon or something but I'm not really sure uh, and then contents and then you get that really awesome picture uh, I'm not sure what it is it kinda reminds me of the one of the Hunger Games uh, films uh, but I don't think it is anything to do with that, and it doesn't say anywhere on it, so I'm kind of in the dark as to what it is, but it is really cool. And then you have lots of different articles here with a... I, I don't understand this theme. That is one thing I don't like about this magazine. These strips here. Don't like that. Uh, but if we just flick through, you've got an old TV, a bit of an article with a camera here at the bottom. That's quite nice. I might actually try and build one of those as well as the Apple Watch. Uh, you got the Wampa, which is kind of like a film poster kind of thing. Uh, I'm just trying to go find the Apple Watch. There's the Apple Watch. That is the really cool... That's the coolest thing about this magazine for me, that picture. Because from it you can see exactly how the Apple Watch is meant to be built. Uh, and it, it does look pretty much like an Apple Watch, to be fair. So I'm definitely going to be building one of those, and when I've finished it, I will show you guys. I'll do a showcase video of that on the channel. And then here we go, if I just stick that in the frame. That's the guy that designed all of the Lego Birds idea sets. And there's just a whole article with him. If we skip through, then you've got Bricky Mars, stuff to do with the Simpsons. Simpsons uh, sitting ne next to some coffee. Uh, and then if I just flick through a little more, you've got a lot of good photos and articles in here, there's a lot of good content. One thing I would say though is the Blocks magazine has better content than this one, because the Blocks magazine gives a lot more tips than this does. This is mainly interviewing people and photography, uh, but that picture I really like. I would actually have that picture on my wall to be honest, it's a really nice picture. Uh, and then you've got inside the Lego group, so you've got a bit of behind the scenes stuff which the Blocks magazine doesn't really offer, but in the Blocks magazine you do get custom corner and uh, stop motions and reviews. In this you don't really get reviews so much. Uh, well, in this issue you don't get any reviews, but in the second issue you do. Uh, you've got movies, monsters and machines here, you probably can't see the title fully if I just move it over into frame. Movie, monsters and machines from creating monsters for Hollywood movies to authoring a book of steampunk creations made of Lego. I'm not going to read the rest. Uh, but yeah. That is some of the stuff, I guess, he goes... I guess this is on the set of movies. And then you've got 
a walking doll's house kind of thing. I'm not actually sure what that is. Uh, steampunk, obviously, you can tell that. Again. Uh, lots of stuff on steampunk, basically. Here we've got a commute from bricks. This is a bit into the history of LEGO, because LEGO cars didn't used to be made, uh, made from bricks. They're more like... Uh, Hot Wheels kind of things, or Matchbox, or whatever. And that, from that picture there, you can just see how much LEGO has improved over time. That's kind of incredible. Uh, yeah, and then obviously it's a magazine, so there are going to be magazine adverts, which there are a few of in here. But I have to say there's not too many. And then there's another interview there. And then that, that's just weird. I don't understand why you put LEGO in your hair. Uh, and the Hulk Buster. That's a pretty cool mock, to be honest. Yeah, so it does do a lot of mock showcases, which is a really good thing, because that's primarily what LEGO is for. Then you do have a really disturbing picture here of two pigs and then a chef with an axe in the background. Uh, that's kind of disturbing. A guy on the beach. Um... And yeah, that's pretty much it for this magazine. There are a couple of adverts in the back. And then on the very back, you do just have an advert for the LEGO Ideas part of the LEGO website. And you have kind of like a businessman with the yellow brick head. And then the white tile there for collar. And then the two black tiles for like the suit. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is it for the close-up. Let's go and conclude the video. Okay, guys, so that is it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And as I said, this magazine is really nice and really luxury. And if you're a LEGO fan, you should definitely go pick one up. You can order it from their website, which uh, I don't know the URL, so I will put that down in the description below. Uh, and I got this from the Great Western Brick Show, and if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know I've been there. If you don't follow me on Twitter, then you should. The link to that will also be down in the description. Uh, yeah, but if you go to any UK like convention, then... They will most likely be there and you'll be able to go to their stand and pick up any of the magazines they have on offer. Uh, and also you should go and get Blocks Magazine, because that is another good LEGO magazine that is available. Uh, but yeah, this magazine is really nice and really luxury, I really like it, and I do have both of the first two issues. I uh, will not be reviewing the second one though, this was just to show you what the magazine is like and what it has to offer. Uh, but yeah guys, that is going to be all for this video. So thank you very much for watching, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and definitely do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more content in the future, I'm going to be trying to vary it a bit, and definitely stay tuned because I will be releasing the Great Western Brick Show 2015 video, which I think is a lot better than last year's, and it's a lot shorter as well. Uh, but yeah guys, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.